all new tomorrow morning on the neighborhood crime alert no doubt you or someone you love have one of these on your keychain pepper spray popular especially for women who like to jog shop or just have it on them when they drive around town now just because you have it doesn't mean it'll keep you safe tomorrow a safety expert will show you the quick easy and correct ways to protect yourself with pepper spray if you own one of these it's a crime smart story you can't afford to miss all new tomorrow morning right here on the local four news morning power cast mark santia local four all right, thank you, Mark. Mark Santia has a crime smart strategy every woman can use. Good morning, Mark. Let's hear it. Good morning, Rhonda. Pepper spray. Several Metro Detroit women carry these on their keychain. If you use them for extra safety, you need to stop, to wait to put uh, to bring the kids to school, sort of put down your coffee, and check this out. If you carry one of these, it's a story you can't afford to miss. Coming up in just minutes. This morning, the Neighborhood Crime Alert is focusing on one of the most popular self-defense tools that is out there. That's right. We're talking about pepper spray, and it can be very effective in warding off would-be attackers, but only if you know how to use it. Local 4's Mark Santia joins us live right now with a crime smart strategy many women are going to want to learn about, Mark, and many people who use pepper spray may not be using it right. That's right, Rhonda. You know, if you or someone you love carry one of these on your keychain or in your pocket, you need to know how to use them because the last thing you want is for your attacker to use one of these against you. Oh, you look at my ah! hey. Jogging, shopping, driving, leaving a restaurant, pumping gas. I'm gonna aggress them. <laughs> An attack can happen anytime, anywhere. Just because you're carrying pepper spray, some people believe self-defense in a can and that's not the case you have to have the ability to use it Gary Sikorsky of reasonable force training in Westland says if you're attacked don't just spray spray and move their momentum will carry them forward it's just like bullfighting what you do is you just sidestep and move out of the way this demonstration is being done at the firing line in Westland and Gary is using inert pepper spray it's not full strength so he can clearly show how to spray, then get away. It doesn't stop somebody dead in their tracks. You don't have to move a lot, just move out of the way. Gary says it takes a few seconds for the pepper spray to marinate or take full effect, blinding an attacker. So you can't let your guard down. He's coming in, I spray, and I don't move out of the way. Either I, they can still grab me. Most pepper sprays cost around 10 bucks, and in Michigan, this is important, there are laws for this type of self-defense. It has to be 2%. You need to look and make sure that it meets the criteria for Michigan. From a stream to a foam, a can, to what looks like an everyday object. It looks like a pen, but it has the ability to protect you with, with pepper spray. There are different types of pepper spray. Gary says you need to do your homework to determine which one is best for your family. Bottom line, what's most important, Gary says, you need to keep your pepper spray accessible on you, on your keychain. If you're attacked in an elevator, it doesn't do you much good if your pepper spray is locked in your glove box or at your desk at work. So make sure it's accessible and make sure you know how to use it. We're live downtown, Mark Santia, Local 4.